What's up guys, it's James, it's Electric Come Audio. This is going to be the second video in the $10 Music Collection series. Um, kind of showing some progress here. So, uh, last video we started with $10. Um, we spent $7 at a, at a retail um, used media store um, and got four cassettes. Um, that got us a value of $12.75. Um, just based on eBay previously sold items, um, we flipped that. We spent um, thirteen dollars at a Goodwill for eight CDs. Um, that gave us a value of forty-one twenty-five uh, for a total value last week of uh, forty-four dollars. So this week we went ahead and tried uh, two different, I guess. Two different stores um one locally um and that's that was thrift city in norfolk um another kind of uh thrift store um and we didn't find much there i found some vinyl records but those are more for my collection so those aren't going to be for this video um i got two cds um both were 99 cents uh one was coldplay x and y um, just speculation on that, that that was going to be a decent hit. And then, um, Suzanne Vega, uh, with the song Tom's Diner on there. And that was just, um, a nineties hit. And I think just nostalgia, I thought that was going to be a, a decent hit. Just a cold play on eBay for $2 90 cents. So, um, not much value there. And then Suzanne Vega for $4 40 cents. So that was a decent hit hit um so i've i've got those waiting to see if there are any bites on those so uh, so i got those up on ebay i actually posted everything on ebay last week so i'm just waiting for those to all kind of start hitting um I'm getting views but no um offers no bids or anything like that so i'm guessing it's going to be a, a patience game for flipping these things um, the next thing I tried, so our, we're trying our first online store. Um, I don't know if you guys know, um, Amazon Warehouse. Um, this is where people return items and then Amazon marks them down and sells them. Um, I've had some mixed luck on, on getting vinyl for my collection through this, um, and so I think, figured maybe this would, might be a good way to um, get some items to flip um, to build the, the $10 collection. Um, so with where the Amazon Warehouse, you kind of are playing roulette um, based on the condition that they describe. Um, you know, you're gambling that when you order this item that there's going to be minimum condition damage. Um, I definitely do get my vinyl there that's um, got bent corners. I got one that was mispressed, um, so it's actually a totally different record. Um, so I might make a video on that one next. Um, so a lot of times it's corner dings and a slight warpage, um, but I haven't had anything really where it was unplayable so for my personal collection um things that i'm not reselling um the damage does hit the value but um the playability is not affected so that those are still cool to me so um for re reselling it might be a little bit more of a gamble but um i did see one um one item that kind of decided to take a chance on um i saw Haley williams from paramore um i guess this might be our latest release pedals for armor cassette was um listed for six dollars 27 cents and uh condition which is acceptable so i i figured i could probably resell that for um decent money just um based on popularity um and i uh, took a chance on that so when that came in um the uh, condition wasn't too bad i mean no damage to the uh the cassette um 
uh, case or anything. Um, the J card looked nice. Um, the tape itself looked um, looked decent. Um, I didn't play it to see playability, um, but there was no shrink wrap and there was a um, sticker over the barcode, so I try to get the residue off that as much as possible. But that was pretty much the only thing that was of issue there. Um, so I have that listed just based on Discogs uh, recent value. Um, I've got that listed on Discogs for $30. So I, that item is an experiment all around um, from purchasing it to, uh, to selling it. So uh, we'll see how that ends up. After purchase price um, and adding the values, um, the final for this week is $73.05. And then while I was on the Amazon warehouse site, I did see one of our um, items that we wanted to pick up, um, Deftones Around the Fur. And that was on vinyl for $17.26. So... Um, the condition said um, acceptable, um, so I'm going to take a gamble on that. And for $17, I figure I can't get that uh, price anywhere else. So um, pulled the trigger on that. So our final, after purchasing one of our items on our collection, um, we're down to $55.79. I'll put the list of what's remaining on that that list uh, for us to pick up. Um, so, I guess all in all, the um, the lessons learned, I guess, purchasing from a retail um, place doesn't give you that much um, cushion to resell. So, I probably won't go back to uh, book exchange. Um, the uh, Goodwill and the, the Thrift City and... Um, you know yard sales and that kind of stuff i think that's still decent um not for vinyl the price is still i don't think there enough um meat there for me to resell for the things i'm seeing a, a lot of the thrift stores are dry for vinyl right now um but cds possibly um and then i'll just see how this amazon warehouse thing works out and um Possibly if I see, you know, things at significant di discounts, I'll, I'll take a gamble on those. If you like the shorter format, just uh, let me know, like and subscribe, and uh, check you guys later.